Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Magic. Uh, this is our third episode, and this week we are doing uh, some meals from the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. So, uh, not any particular restaurant, but um, if you've ever been to Food and Wine, uh, if you haven't been to Food and Wine, let me explain it. Uh, in Epcot, around the uh, all the countries, they normally have, um, and we'll showcase all the different countries that you visit and things like that. Whereas in food and wine, they have all different uh, kinds of food set up, different countries, different areas, different regions, stuff like that. They all have little booths set up throughout World Showcase, and you can try all these different kinds of foods from different countries and different places. So this recipe comes from Hawaii. We're going to be doing Kahlua pork sliders with pineapple chutney and spicy mayo on brioche buns. So it's a little more complicated, that's why I don't have all the ingredients laid out like we normally do. We're gonna do this in a few segments and then um, you can just do one at a time and you don't have to try to watch the whole video and see like, all this stuff. So just take it one step at a time. We're gonna do the pork, we're gonna do the bread, we're gonna do the chutney, and we're gonna do some homemade mayo. So if any of that sounds good to you, stay tuned and we will be right back. Alright, so we're going to take that pork butt and we're going to season it with salt, pepper, and garlic. And we're going to basically put it in the slow cooker, crock pot, whatever you have, for about 8 to 10 hours. So we want to get that started first. I'm going to go ahead and throw some cayenne pepper on there. It's not necessarily in the recipe, but I think it's going to be good. So let's get that all in there. And then we have uh, Instapot, which also has the slow cooker option. So that's what we're gonna use today. But if you have a crock pot, that's perfect. Just put it in, in there at the, you know, before you leave to work or whatever, and throw it in there. So that's gonna go in, it's gonna go in the crock pot. Now, the funny thing is this whole recipe says that this is Kahlua pork sliders. But nowhere in the recipe does it call for Kahlua. So I am just going to put a splash in there yes. while it's cooking for the next eight hours. And that should just give it just a little bit of something. So uh, again, just throw that in the uh, crock pot, slow cooker for about eight, ten hours until you can uh, shred it with your hands or with a fork. Okay, so after you put your pork in, let it cook for a few hours. Once you've got about two or three hours left, you want to start thinking about making your bread, your chutney, and your mayonnaise. Okay, so this will be the next step. Step two will be the bread, the rolls. So you need a third of a cup of water at about 110 degrees, is relatively warm water, and a package of yeast. Package of yeast. So you're going to put the yeast and that water in this bowl and let it sit for five minutes until it proofs. So it should be kind of bubbly. If you want to take a look at this real quick, this is how it should look. Okay, so let's sit that on the blender and let's just kind of get everything going. Now you've got three eggs and two egg yolks. So two eggs without the whites and three eggs. That's going to go in. You've got half a cup of crushed pineapple, which we made fresh. And you got a quarter cup of sugar. Okay. So we're going to get that all going and then throw the flour in. And we've got three and a half cups of flour. Then we're also, once it gets looking like this, we're going to throw in three quarters of a cup of butter. Soften it, just to make it life easier. flour at the end just to tighten it up a little bit just a little bit at a time so it gets to the consistency that we, it smells we want really good it does smell so good <laughs> like we haven't even baked it yet and it smells so good so just add a little bit of a time don't throw a bunch in there don't throw a whole cup in there or anything but you'll be able to see where it starts to look like dough 
So probably just that'll probably do it right there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. And that's what we're looking for. <laughs> so now we just need to decide how big we want our buns to be, right? So this recipe actually calls for sliders. I'm not a big fan of sliders. I feel like you're just, I don't know, like you're just getting more bread than meat. So I'm probably just gonna make like eight buns out of it. So why don't we just cut that in half, right? And then cut that in half and cut that in half. Yeah, that's a little lopsided, but I'll figure it out. I'll add some more to that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So let's just do eight buns, right? And we might have to you know, play with that a little bit, but let's just do eight buns. So. This should be good size, I think. And we're gonna need to let these rise for about an hour. Okay, so just do that. This one's gonna need to, yeah a little from there yeah we're gonna do eight of those all right so once you've uh, got your buns ready just cover them with a clean towel and then we're gonna set them off to the side someplace warm and preferably where a dog won't get them uh, for about <laughs> an hour or so so let those rise for about an hour all right so once you've got your buns how you want them then just cover it with a clean towel let those sit in a warm place for about an hour, some place where your dog won't eat, eat them. <laughs> and um, yeah, for about an hour, we're gonna let them rise. Then once they're risen, we're gonna cook them in the oven, bake them in the oven at about 350, about 20, 25 minutes. So I've already got the oven preheating for a little while. Uh, this will give us time to make our, our pineapple chutney and our homemade mayonnaise. Uh, we're gonna do some sriracha mayonnaise as well. So next thing we'll do is the pineapple chutney. That is the pineapple chutney so for this you're gonna need half of a red bell pepper one or two cloves of garlic a yellow or white onion chopped uh, I like the yellow onion better quarter cup of brown sugar some red pepper flakes uh, fresh ginger is probably better but we don't have any so we have that it works good this is a cup of white wine vinegar and half a cup of regular vinegar and a pound of chopped pineapple. So basically, we're just gonna throw all that in a pot, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna reduce the heat to medium and simmer for about an hour until everything gets nice and soft. So, throw that in there, the onions. Watch out for patches, no onions for patches. No onions for you, puppy. Let's put that in garlic. All right. And pineapple. And then, like I said, we want to bring all this to a boil. Reduce it to a medium heat and let it simmer for about an hour. So, once we get all that in there, the red pepper flakes, you can just do however much you think. Your choice, according to your taste. And then let's put the lid on there, turn that up, and let it come to a boil. Okay, so once we get that boil going, we're gonna put this down to like a medium, medium to low heat, and we're gonna let that simmer for about an hour. All right, so we got our pork in the crock pot or instant pot or however you're gonna do that. We got our mango chutney over here. We got the buns in the oven. <laughs> They're probably rising at this point, actually. We're gonna still need to cook them. But uh, So now we're gonna make our mayonnaise. We're gonna do sriracha mayonnaise, but we're just gonna add the sriracha to the mayonnaise that we make. So to make the mayonnaise, we need one egg yolk. Just the yolk, okay? 
need just a pinch of salt. Okay. Um, teaspoon of mustard, Dijon. I don't have any Dijon, so I'm going to use like brown mustard, but whatever. About a teaspoon of vinegar. And half a lemon. Juice from half a lemon. Okay. So it's going to get loud, but I'm going to crank this bad boy up. Then once we get going, we're going to start adding our oil. I'm going to use olive oil. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to use avocado oil. I think olive oil is a little too strong. I think the avocado will be a better flavor for mayonnaise. But once we start adding it in, we're just going to add a couple drops at a time until it gets going. Then we're going to add the rest. So it's just in the probably being about a cup of olive oil or um, avocado oil all together. All right, so when you're done, it should look at something like this. Now, I will tell you, we just learned our lesson. Patience is what you need when you're making this, uh, when you're making your homemade mayonnaise. Don't try to just throw all the oil in there. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, just a little bit at a time, let it emulsify a little bit at a time, let it emulsify just a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. If not, you're going to end up with salad dressing and not mayonnaise. Yes. Um, which is what happened to us <laughs> the first time that you didn't see because it's, it's off camera. But we redid it, uh, put the oil a lot slower, and this is the result. So that's how you're going to get your mayonnaise. A little something extra. We're going to put some sriracha and then blend that into the mayonnaise. This is going to be a sriracha mayo. Okay, so this pork butt has been cooking in the Instapot on the slow cook mode for about eight hours. So let's see how it looks. Okay. Now we gotta shred it, but that thing is gonna be tasty. Not for you, puppy, not for you. Get down, I know it smells good. You gotta get down. Okay. All right, so this look like how this fat cap just melts right off of here. We're gonna take that off because I know you are not gonna to wanna to have all this fat in there. <laughs> but um, yeah, look at that, just rolls right off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, I gotta get the bone out, but then we're gonna shred it. So give me one second, I'll show you how we're gonna shred this. Then we're gonna put it back in the extra juices that are in the pot, okay? So let me get out the shredder and we're gonna do this thing. All right, so you can just throw it all in there, cut it up maybe like in some big chunks, but just throw that in your blender. But make sure you sift out all the fat before or after. If you want to, yeah. I mean, like. I feel like you should. <laughs> then once this is shredded up pretty good, we're gonna throw it back in the juices. Then we'll let that kind of simmer back in the juice while we cook the bun. The bun's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes. So we're gonna brush the tops of the buns with your egg white. So you got one egg white, about a teaspoon of water. Mix that up pretty good. And then again, we're just gonna brush the top of the buns with those before we put them in the oven. Now the oven has been preheating, so it should be ready to go. 350. And we're gonna put these in for 20 minutes, see how that goes. We might need to cook them a little longer, but we're gonna check them at 20 minutes. All right, okay. we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, how does the bread look? Huh? It don't really look like bread. <laughs> Cookies. Let's uh, see how they taste, but I got a feeling we might have our first fail of uh, cooking with magic. Oh, Patches seems to like them. Get down, Patches. Um, yeah, I don't seem to always have a lot of luck with baking stuff. I don't know why, but maybe it's going to be a situation where they, they taste better than they look, but... Uh, if nothing else, we got to back up uh, with some hamburger buns over there, but we'll try it and see how it tastes. But uh, ooh, they actually smell really good. Yeah, there's a pineapple chunk right there. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they taste as good as they smell. But I think they're just kind of, they, they seem like they're really thick, like a, like a biscuit. All right, so final assembly, we got our spicy sriracha mayo. Okay. Then on that, we're gonna put Kahlua pork. 
and the pineapple and the pineapple chutney. I wonder if that would be good with a little barbecue sauce on top. We might have to add that at the end, but let's go with how the recipe says first. Okay. For the final result. Beautiful. <laughs> it's messy. I didn't think good. You like it? Mm -hmm. What about the mayo? How's the mayo? Can you tell? I can't Does really it need taste more? it. To be honest, I think we can put a little bit more. Put a little more mayo? Okay. And the pineapple? You can taste it. It's subtle though. Yeah. So the pineapple's not real strong either? It's perfect. It tastes cool. really good. Okay. But it's just a little um, crunchy. Crunchy. It's the bread. You know, this is part of what we're going to be doing with this show is like trying to recreate these recipes. And some are going to be perfect and some are going to be good and some are going to be bad. I think we need to go back to the drawing board on the bread, the buns, uh, figure out why we can't, why it turned out like a biscuit instead of a bun. <laughs> but uh, I it's mean, like but it smells good. good. And it tastes good, but it just, it's not a bun. It, it's a biscuit. So we got to figure that part out. So, okay. Well, let's. Uh, thumbs up for thumbs me. Up. Cool. All right. Well, you know what? Let's leave you with Amanda's smiling face. Um, my camera man and my, my editor. Uh, if you'd like to try this recipe for yourself, if you want to go to Disney and check it out, uh, just email me at lee at magicrway.com. Uh, Facebook page at facebook.com slash Lastavica Travel. That's L A S T O V I C A Travel. Instagram, you can find me at You Got a Friend in Lee Travel. Uh, please share, like, subscribe, post a link, do all that stuff. Please tell your friends about it. Uh, we've got other shows coming out on the Magic Our Way. really good. Our Magic Our <laughs> Way podcast uh, channel. Um, some of the guys are going to be doing some drink recipes and stuff like that. We've, we're posting up all of our shows on there, in all the previous shows. Patches, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah. So we're posting up all of our previous episodes on YouTube as well. So please, again, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. And uh, that's it. Magic out.